Welcome back, everyone. Our next guest is the creator of the very popular blog, Preppy Kitchen. And he looks preppy, doesn't he? And today he is going to show us how to make his one of a kind shag rug yeah. cake. Look at that I mean, creation. It looks like monster or animal from the Muppets, doesn't yeah, it? Or like a pom pom. Or like a pom pom, like for a, a cheerleader. Pom -pom. Yes. A pom pom that you can eat. Right. right. Welcome back to our home, one of my Thank very you. favorites, Thank you for John Canal. We're so happy. Thank you. Kevin and uh, Steve have stuck around. I told you we we're going to feed you well. Mm -hmm. I did yes. not lie. We're not doing the show without cake. And things. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So this shag rug cake really has a '70s inspired vibe, but it wasn't necessarily inspired by the '70s for you. It was inspired by your love of painting. Yes, I was a painter. I have like tonal paintings. They're like kind of crazy looking, but now that I'm a baker <laughs> full time, I like to have that you know, color sensibility infused in my cakes. So this has a lot of nice vibrant colors with some really saturated hues too and some like mustard ochre too for balance. And it's oh. so original. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen anything like this. Well, thank you. And it all starts with your favorite cake, your favorite basic cake. So yes. what cake did you make? Okay, this is a strawberry cake and it is like, if you can take a look at this layer, super moist, nice flat cake layer, which is what okay. you need for stacking. And how do you get that perfect flat okay, cake Okay, so layer? you can use a cake strip. You can either make one out of like tin foil, a headband or whatever. A headband, all it's right. It's true, it's like you just Whoa. need to wrap the edge of the cake pan in something cool, like water for example, and it slows the baking down so everything bakes at the same time and you get a flat layer that's fluffy on the edge. Is that part of the, like, the secret to making sure your cakes stay moist? Because that's a yes. challenge sometimes. That is true. Right. It'll dry out and get a crispy edge. Right. And some people, it's controversial because some people love a crispy, crunchy cake yeah. edge. Oh. But, but I don't. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> no, neither do I want it yeah, to be really good. moist. Right. So also another thing that's really great and fun about this cake that kids will love, look at all the different layers of the icing inside, yeah. the different colors. Nice so how do you how do you create that? So simple. It's kind of like the lining of a suit jacket for me where it's like a little surprise that you don't really see. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> always fun. You just, Let me see. Oh, you're oh, no, my, my, <laughs> just pipe rings of buttercream. No, <laughs> none of them have the fun one. I have no idea in my jacket. No. <laughs> and then oh, so just, you do it like that? Yeah, just circle. alternate the layers. It's really easy. Oh. And you can choose whatever colors you like in whatever order. Yeah. I thought it would be much more difficult. Yeah. So I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how do you do it? Then just fill it up. And then oh, after that, do you take it, do you flatten it, and then? No, you just stack the and cake And just stack layers, the cake on top. And then you give it a crumb coat. So which, is, which is where we are here. Yeah, this is a crumb coated cake, partially decorated, and it's just gonna give you a nice layer of protection and a good stable base to decorate any cake. So when you crumb coat it, you put it in the refrigerator or yeah. the freezer for how long? Mm, it's like 20, 30 minutes, you should be good. Okay, but if you if you wanted to, you could leave it in the refrigerator overnight, You could leave right? it in overnight, just wrap it. So if I'm crumb coating a cake, I'll just wrap it in saran wrap or whatever, and won't absorb any smells. You have Perfect. a beautiful, yeah. tasty cake. So your cake won't taste like garlic when you take yeah, it. Or soft shell crab. Or, or soft shell crab, for that matter. <laughs> All right, so now we've crumb coated, right. and now here's the fun part, the decorating part that makes it look like a crazy, wild shag and rug. This is so easy. Okay, there are grass pipe tips you can get. The grass pipe tips are tiny. They're tiny, and you'd be there forever. Right. I'm a parent, you're a parent, yeah. <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> so I found a pair of like, these are giant plastic grass tips. Where They're really cheap. Them? They're on Amazon, but you can probably find them on like online someplace if you do some sleuthing. So how do you do it? All you have to do is press. Wait, do, can, you, can I practice before I do the cake? I don't want yes. to mess it up. Okay, so here's the spatula. Okay. I love to practice. And Even you practice? Because you never know what the buttercream is like until it's piped. Okay. So if it's too thick or thin, you might have a problem. So you're gonna press and then pipe and then pull out while you press and <gasps> let go. And they're, oh, they're the fibers of the cake. And I'm watching this and I'm thinking to myself, it looks like so I want to get in there and kind of have some fun. Yeah, but the, the kids have got to love, like I would love to have my kids exactly. in the kitchen doing yeah. this. I know you have twins. I'm sure they love, do they get in there and have some fun with this too? They're 14 months, so we're still. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't do, I didn't do, I didn't do I let them in the kitchen the and they were <laughs> covered the kids in, in the kitchen <laughs> instantly. But oh, the deal is that oh my super God. low stress. Because okay, all right. This isn't oh, a smooth like a cake where if you mess it up, it's like, oh, we got messed up. It's not smooth. Yeah, sure. This is like a shaggy cake, exactly. so it can be whatever you like. And it's so, true, you know, you shag go. rugs kind of they go in different directions. So even if you kind of make a mess like me, it's still yeah, okay. It has a better warp and width. There okay. you go. Okay, so what so do we do? All we're gonna do is choose a random area and then press that's it. I'm That's telling you right it. now. So we're just going to cover that this cake. That is a lot of bang for the buck, right? And I you mean, really have to start where the other one ended. Wow, this yeah. is fun. Yeah. That is so Now, could good. you do, like, different designs with this? You could do stripes. You could do yeah. polka dots. You could do whatever you want. But I just like a random kind of camo pattern. John, it, if I wanted some facial hair like yeah. Steve's here, can, yes. I, can I try this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, I, I can do a little... There might be some continuity errors. Okay. Because <laughs> that's what I'm I'm just saying. I'm willing to take a chance. Can we try it? What happens if you mess up? Call it, though. 
Then you just scrape it off. That's it. Are you That's messing it? up? You keep going. No, Are you I'm messing just off, off camera? No, I just think, you know, there is the opportunity where it I mean, could be a mess. Yeah. I like how you're doing little clumps too, right? So you kind of do little sections. Oh. Oh. Debbie! I was a mess up. That's what happens. You eat yeah, it. Yeah, if you mess up, you can also have like a little snack. But that's snack. the key, right? You can just, you can just scrape it off because... And just start over. Really, yeah. Or you can just go on top because it could have a lump and no one's going to notice either. Man, oh and this buttercream I flavored with uh, some vanilla, a nice vanilla, and some rose water. I was going to say there's a rose oh. water in it. Yes. I love using rose water, especially when it... In the buttercream. In the buttercream. Mm. It's perfect for... You can wow. Do almond, uh, I never thought about that. Want, or orange blossom water. Mm. All these like, kind of unexpected water. flavors. Do you get longer shag on top? Oh, like, and I like how they overlap, like yes. I just did. Yeah, oh my gosh. Excited. I just overlapped excited. it. We're getting excited. I'm and you trying can, this. Once you get to the it's top, delicious. you can go in different yeah. directions, too. I'm going to do rose water now. So it could be um, a little bit messy, like, like your hair is tousled. Like tousled hair. And you really, there's a key to holding the bag, too, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Have you, have you guys noticed that they're really getting in? I mean, I, we've lost <laughs> yeah, them now. No, no, we've lost yeah, them. They're, no, they're no. in their own world. Is, and I get it. A perfect project to do with your kids. Yeah. You can shag cupcakes, oh, too. Oh, that's to be a little bit low oh, stress. Yeah. Even lower stress. Even, Even lower stress. stress. I was thinking for people who are like really big dog owners, mm -hmm. to me, if you can make a dog cake. Yeah. Oh, this would be a great idea. idea. Hi, I mean, you can have that idea. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Where's Larissa? Yeah. We've lost Debbie for the. Uh, the Look at this. The <laughs> I'm gone. Yeah. She's Teamwork. gonna be in the kitchen doing this. Uh, Teamwork the, makes the, the dream time. work. Take it away, Debbie. And wait, till, <laughs> wait till you taste the uh, the cake too, man. This is this is really. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look, okay. Okay. All the ice. That, that is the cutest oh. thing I've ever seen. We're all done. Boom. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. I'm sorry. That needs a little. Yeah. 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 Ye